Welcome to today's video where we dive into Huawei's latest innovation, Harmony OS Next. Recently, an app developer named Wang Boli had the opportunity to explore the beta version of this new operating system. In his deep dive, Wang revealed some intriguing insights about Harmony OS Next calling a closed system that mirrors aspects of Apple's iOS. Let's break down what this means for Huawei users and the future of this operating system. One of the most striking aspects of Harmony OS Next is that it's a closed operating system, much like iOS. What does this mean? Essentially, Harmony OS Next is designed exclusively for Huawei devices. It won't support devices or smartphones from other brands, keeping the ecosystem tightly locked within Huawei's own hardware. This makes it similar to how iOS is only compatible with Apple products. Wang Boli, the app developer who explored the beta, Emphasize that while Harmony OS Next is unified and comprehensive, it might take some time for users and developers to fully grasp its intricacies. He pointed out that in comparison, third-party operating systems such as Android tend to be more minimalist and straightforward. However, Wine believes that with time, Huawei will make the system more intuitive and user-friendly. So what exactly is Harmony OS Next built on? It's based on OpenHarmony, an open-source distributed operating system Huawei describes it as a true and real operating system, setting it apart from earlier versions of Harmony OS, but here's where things get really interesting. Harmony OS Next is free of any US-based components. It has removed elements like Linux, various system kernels, and even certain programming languages. This step seems to be part of Huawei's broader effort to distance itself from US technology due to ongoing trade restrictions and other factors. But this decision has some consequences. By eliminating Android-based components, Harmony OS Next can no longer support a wide variety of third-party apps. Only native apps will be compatible with the new system. While this limitation might be a drawback for some, Huawei is looking to overcome it by providing more native app options in the future. Despite the closed nature of the system, Huawei's vision for Harmony OS Next is ambitious. Yu Chengdong, chairman of Huawei's consumer business, said that the OS will be designed to connect multiple devices across various scenarios, whether it's smartphones, smartwatches, or home appliances, Harmony OS Next will allow seamless connectivity within Huawei's ecosystem. This could potentially make Huawei devices work more harmoniously together, offering users a more integrated experience. It's worth noting that Huawei has achieved a significant milestone with Harmony OS Next. According to the company, developing an operating system of this caliber took them just 10 years. In comparison, it took US and European companies about 30 years to reach similar levels of development. This rapid progress shows Huawei's determination to compete with global tech giants and establish itself as a key player in the operating system market ecosystem. We can also anticipate more seamless device integration, making it easier for Huawei users to interact across different devices and scenarios. In conclusion, Harmony OS Next represents Huawei's bold move towards a more independent and closed operating system, much like Apple's iOS. While it does come with certain limitations, such as the lack of third-party app support, it also promises a more unified and connected experience for Huawei users. As Huawei continues to evolve this platform, it will be interesting to see how it stacks up against competitors like Android and iOS. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this breakdown of Harmony OS Next, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on the latest in mobile tech.